Hey everybody, my name is Joe Pace. Welcome to Ice Water Yoga. Uh, today we're gonna do a really quick stretch for the back of the legs and the front of the legs, and primarily in this femur bone region. So the big bone that connects our hips to our shins, basically. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna do some stretching. That's, that's really what it comes down to. Really quick, really brief. Highly recommend something sturdy to sit on. That's a, a great option for really anybody. Um, and something that you can use like a strap, if you have a jump rope, something that you can wrap around your feet. Uh, we're actually gonna start in a pose that requires both of these, uh, especially if you have tightness in, your, in the back of your legs. Um, if you don't have tightness in the back of your legs, maybe you don't need the strap or the block. Uh, but the proper way to sit on your block or whatever you're sitting on is to point the, the pointer, the, when the pointy parts of your butt, when you, when you say somebody has a bony butt, those bones, sit them on the edge of the block, okay? And then we're gonna extend both legs out in front of us. So now you'll notice by sitting the sit bones on the edge of the block, it'll pitch your hips forward. That's what we want. We want the hips to be pitched forward so we don't feel as much tension in our low back, okay? We can bring the knees to a bend, and then from this place, get your strap, and then wrap the strap around the balls of the feet, okay? We can actually bring the feet to touch, and then from this place, we're gonna grab both sides of the strap, jump rope, whatever you have, tie, anything. Okay, you just wanna make sure it's not gonna rip in your hands. So from this place, you may already be feeling this. Before we fold at all forward, we lift up in the chest, we let the hips pitch forward, and then from here, lifting up through the chest, extend forward with the heels as much as your body will allow, okay? And maybe back off from that point, okay? We don't wanna completely tear the hamstrings. Now, as opposed to thinking about chest to knees or nose to knees, Let's think chest towards feet. Okay, so we're drawing our chest towards our feet, finding a place where it feels productive. No pain in the low back. If you don't have the strap, you can possibly grab the feet. My feet are accessible from here. I can touch my feet. If you can't, you just stay tall in the upper back, tall in the chest, draw the elbows back towards you, the shoulder blades down your back and towards one another. So now we're lifting in the chest and we're protecting our low back by staying tall. Okay, so now your breathing is deep and you create your pose. Once you've found a place where your pose is static, you just breathe. We're just gonna be here for a good amount of breaths. to come out, slowly release your grip of the strap or your feet tall in the chest. Release the strap, okay? So that's a nice, really nice hamstring stretch, especially to start, okay? Let's take it to the front of the leg. So we'll do a little bit of a quad stretch here. All right, so we'll set up our position, left foot underneath or left ankle directly underneath left knee, and then the right knee directly underneath your right hip. So we've got two right angles, one of them at our knee and one of them at our knee. One of them's above the ground, one of them's connected to the ground. So we've got our 90 degree shapes in our legs. All right, from this place, we're gonna bring our hands to the, to the floor. Ideally, where'd the block go? You put the block down here as a place, somewhere to put your hands or one hand. We're gonna take it with both hands to the block we can draw the right knee back a little bit if it feels accessible. And then from here, you might already be getting a pretty good hip stretch. And then in this place, we will bend the right heel towards the butt, okay? This may already be a, great, a big stretch for you. And from here, you can walk your left foot forward, let your hips sink, and then feel the stretch come into the right quad. If this doesn't feel like much for you in your, in your right quad, front leg, grab your back leg, okay? And then gently pull in. Okay, it's a really nice quad stretch. You have the option to stand, sit up taller, left hand to left knee, and then just breathe with a tall chest. If you feel the balance and it doesn't feel like too much pressure on top of your knee, 
you're grabbing the back foot with the, the left, left hand too, and you can lift through the chest, bending the heel towards the butt. All right, so we have a bunch of options. You can even take the strap behind you, wrap it around the foot, hold your foot with the strap, lifting through the chest. Now you wanna make sure your right knee isn't pressing into the ground on top of your uh, patella, the, the front of your knee. It's really the top of your knee. Uh, you'll, you'll, it, it should feel like not much pressure in the knee, honestly. So this should be not in the, the, the front of the knee, it's the top of the knee, okay? Lifting through the chest, stay tall, draw the shoulder blades down the back wherever you are for three, two, one. Release the grip of your hands, back foot comes down to the mat, hands to block, switch sides. All right, from this place, we'll take the right hand to the right knee, bent, back knee bends, you may stay here. And again, setting up so you're not right on the patella, you're on the top of the knee, above the patella, okay? <clears throat> Uh, and then from this place with our right hand on our right knee, we can take the left hand back, maybe reach. Maybe this is a good place to wrap the strap around your foot, okay? So for me, just gently taking the strap, wrapping it around the leg, and then from this place, holding here. You can have any distance between your hand and the foot, maybe reaching back with both hands, grabbing the strap or grabbing the ankle, multiple options. Wherever you are, you want to be balanced and you want to be breathing deep. All right, to take this a little bit further, to make it a bigger stretch, all you do is just walk the front foot forward, sink the hips a little deeper, keep the heel drawing in towards you. Stay deep in your breath. So we had a lot of options, personalizing as you go, not comparing if you have somebody you're doing this with or a group of people you're doing this with. Okay, you can have your hands on the block, just bending the knee in towards you, reaching towards it with your left hand, maybe wrapping the strap around it, okay? Don't worry so much about what it looks like. Think about what it feels like in the front of the leg. Gently release, hands back to block. Step the right knee back, and then from this place, you can remove your strap, remove your block, okay? Just one time, we're gonna stand tall on our knees, tall in our chest, hands to the hips. We're gonna rock the weight back, so keep the tailbone ducking down, hip points lifting, okay? We have, we're not ducking forward, our butt's not poking out, our butt, our butt is ducked in. We're not clenching in the butt, but the, the rotation of the hips is, we're lifting in the pelvis from this place with knees right underneath your hips, just gently lean back, keeping the chest lifting, feel the quads turn on. And we wanna warm the quads here. So we're lifting through the chest. Maybe the hands come behind you or in front of you. Rocking back, maybe a little bit more. Feel it in the quads. Come back where you came from. Hands down, sit back on the heels. Okay. Um, that's, that's really all I wanted to do today. <laughs> Just a simple stretch uh, for the hamstrings, simple stretch for the quads. Um, it actually, when you're doing it with intention, you're doing it with deep breath, it can, it can be pretty productive in a pretty short amount of time without doing a ton of stretching or a ton of different poses. So if you wanna close with a little bit of a toe stretch, sit on your heels, tucking your toes under, sit back on your heels as much as you can without feeling like your toes are gonna to snap off. Over time, this creates more length and openness in your feet and is a really nice preventer of plantar fasciitis if you have, a, have had trouble with that historically. So um, feel free to sit here in this toes pose for as long as you'd like. And yeah, hopefully you're feeling open in the, the quads and hammies. Namaste.